Hey mates, welcome back to another video. So today, I know I look a little off. It's like, Akita, are you going to bed? Are you, you know, out in the streets? What's happening? What is going on? Well, today we are traveling. So this vlog is going to be a birthday trip for my husband. We are taking a little bit of a road trip to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's my first time going there. And it's about five hours from Virginia Beach. So it's a very quick, you know, short um, road trip. And so I have a very, very, very special surprise that he does not know about. We're going on a hot air balloon. I'm so excited. Like I cannot wait. Neither one of us have been on a hot air balloon, but I'm so, so excited because he does not know. Currently he's in the store right now um, in the gas station we just filled up. Um, my hair is not done, so <laughs> I'll I'll look a lot better tomorrow so currently it's about five o'clock so we'll get there later tonight um so it's just a travel day and then i'll check back in with you guys tomorrow um well actually probably when we get back into the hotel tonight okay so talk to you soon don't ruin the surprise Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out here. Just gave you guys a quick tour. Rashad is still um, getting ready to move the truck and I just want to do a quick OOTD. I'm actually probably going to wear this when we get back in the truck to travel back home. But you know, these are travel clothes. Nice leisure clothes to just throw on, which is the whole purpose of why I bought just quick lounge sets that I could just put on and go and still look cute. So no, normally I do not leave the house with like my headscarf on, but I didn't finish my hair, uh, but you'll see it more tomorrow. I'm gonna do a half up, half down with the clip-ins that I uh, just installed. The outfit came from Target. The bag is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. Um, and then here is the lounge set. I don't normally wear socks and I wouldn't actually wear socks with this but um, because I was traveling I wanted to have my shoes off and the shoes came from TJ Maxx and they are by Nautica these are like 19 bucks but they're the cutest to honestly just wear with like just quick lounge sets I just yeah all right so on that note we're going to end the vlog here today and we have a busy day tomorrow Hubs just got in, and we're going to call it Lenite. <laughs> hey guys, happy Saturday. So, our morning starting off a little 
unorthodox. So we had breakfast this morning. I picked one spot and they had a two and a half hour wait. We were already at the point of hangry. We could not wait, we could not do it. So then Hubs picked a different place and we were in and out in like 20, no, they were ready to see us in about 20 minutes. It's called the Flying Biscuit. It was really good, cute little local spot. I recommend it. Um, and then now we're getting ready to go. We're gonna come back to the hotel because my shoes, <laughs> I wasn't gonna make it, and my stomach was hurting, so we had to just, we had to just regroup. We just had to regroup. I just needed to just lay down for a little bit, get my life together, and now it's currently 2:45, and I feel like we're just now starting the day. We got to get to a TV somewhere soon by like eight o'clock so that he can watch a game. It's Georgia and um, Florida. No. Georgia and. Florida. And Alabama are playing at 8 o'clock tonight, so we have to get back to a TV so he can do that. And I actually think during that time I'll do a little bit of work. So right now we're going to go to the mall and... <laughs> we're going to go to the mall and that's it. Honey, how are you enjoying North Carolina? Uh, it's fun. You having a good time? Sure. Are you enjoying my company? Yes. All right, guys, so we are out of here. I will catch up with you. We're gonna head to the mall today. Again, it's a low-key day as we lead up to the big surprise tomorrow, which he still doesn't know. Honey, do you have any guess of what mm, tomorrow's plan? I don't. You said we're going to a winery. No, we're not. Are we going to a winery or are we not going no, to a winery? No. We're not going to a winery? No. Okay. <laughs> See you guys soon.
50 degrees. So it's getting warmer, of course, as the sun's gonna come up. Um, so I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you really, really ready? So we're in a park a lot with other people, the few trailers. He is no fun at all. Uh -uh. <laughs> mm. 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 Okay, so I just met our pilot and their family and we're getting ready to now go to the field where we will launch from. So we're just following them now to that launch position and then we take off. <laughs> so I'm currently walking to the launch place where the hot air balloon that I will be in is. But I just wanted to show you them setting up and what it's like getting everything ready. Some of the balloons are already getting set up now. I have literally never been this close to a hot, but look at the little fella, he's helping out too.
Thank you for the good content. <laughs> Gosh, it's gorgeous. So then if you look, there's another balloon that took off. Oh, from wow. There's another house over here, and there's two more over there. <gasps> just by going to different altitudes so you can see down low we're kind of tracking this is actually heading south back towards Charlotte and then as you climb up you can see if you watch this balloon and it starts turning to the right and then these other ones the higher up they go they just keep turning and then they actually head back north so just riding uh, the wind at different altitudes so make us turn Some mornings you have that, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's just a very straight wind from the ground all the way up to four or five thousand feet. There's not a lot you can do with the wind. We got you, Dave. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Appreciate it, sir. <laughs> so now they are taking it down, letting the air out, of course. Rashad's helping. It's always <laughs> end up being helping. A helping helper. Yeah, we're ready for him to jump. I brought some orange juice today. <laughs> I love like orange juice and like I love this champagne. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Hope the principal didn't catch that. So. <laughs> 
Thank you, thank so, you. So, ballooning started in France in the 1700s. There were two brothers, the Montgolfier brothers, who owned a paper factory. And at the end of the week, they would go out and burn all their old scraps of paper. Well, they started noticing when they would burn the paper, the paper would go up. They thought it was the smoke which made the paper go up. So, being young boys, they decided, well, what can we do with this? So they started playing around and building models and they built a balloon. So at the end of the week, they'd go out and burn the papers. They'd hold their balloons and let it fill up with smoke and let them go. Well, of course, being curious men that they were, they decided, well, if that works, what can we lift? Uh huh. So they kept trying different things until they finally got balloons big enough. They thought, well, what if we could put an animal in there? So they built bigger and bigger balloons. So the first flight, they had a rooster, a duck, a duck a sheep. and a sheep. That's the only part of the story I had. That's the only part I never can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Which they have our balloonist prayer that says, the winds have welcomed you with softness. The sun has warmed you with its warm rays. You've flown so high and so well that God himself has joined you in laughter and set you gently back in the loving arms of Mother Earth. Here's the soft landings. I Congratulations. love it. Thank you. <laughs> so what was your favorite part? What wasn't my favorite part? She just couldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> Me and David just chilling. We just flying, and she's just. Hey, Dave's used to that. I'm always. He's always chilling. Where did I say? You always have the camera. Oh, fix this. There we go. All right, guys. So we have just gotten back in the truck from um, where we landed because, of course, you're drifting based on the wind speed. So we did not land exactly where we took off. So we're just um, finishing up. The um, family that we did the hot air balloon ride was amazing. They were very funny, just very personable, good, good, wholesome people. Um, <laughs> so Rashad is saying that this was not for him. It was really more for me. It definitely was for him. It's an us thing. So tell them what happened. What do you mean uh, what happened? When we left Georgia. We were riding and you got fixated on the hot air balloon that you saw. I had to slow down and you was just steady. He recorded it and it was ooh and an ah and about you wanted to be in a hot air balloon. It was only maybe a month ago. <laughs> right? Yeah, you shared so, so the good. same sentiments. Yeah. And we ended up, I ended up making it happen for us. For you. For us. Okay. You wanted to go, and I wanted to go, and we went. I'm an action taker. I made things happen. But what <laughs> if I was going to do this for your birthday since you wanted it? I guess I beat you to the punch. Yeah, so I so guess just for, that my, good. for your birthday, we'll do something I want to do. This is something you wanted to do. We're going to surprise you. <laughs> We're gonna surprise you with something that I want. <laughs> I am not, I am done. I'm not paying any attention. Okay, so um what we're gonna do now is we do need to go ahead and check out of our hotel. It's currently about 10 o'clock. Um so we're gonna go check out the hotel, go grab some breakfast, and then at that point we'll get ready to head on the road. Um I do wish we could have come back and um just visit more of Charlotte because we ended up honestly a lot of house hunting we're just looking at the houses the area is just beautiful here um so not much going on after that thank you for enjoying along the ride and keeping the secret so we will be back soon <laughs>
give them for my birthday. Okay, guys. So I know we're back in the car. I feel like this entire vlog has been in the car, which it really has been because it's a car ride. But um, so a lot of the places here, I don't think Charlotte has quite opened up all the way or as far as the phases since the vi the pandemic started um and or because there's a game there's the panthers and the bears are playing today at home for for north carolina that there are just more visitors this particular weekend so the wait time to eat anywhere has been two two and a half hours three hours and we're hangry right now we can't make decisions just things just are not working out right now um so we just we decided to go ahead and just hit the road and we will come definitely another weekend so we can just explore a little bit more we don't have to um get into any balloons go in the air or anything at all <laughs> so right now we just stopped at mcdonald's and i always when i travel i eat mcdonald's it's just quick i just it's i'm not traveling to follow any calorie counting at all any of that stuff so i'm getting ready to what'd you say <laughs> what did you say <laughs> what did you say i ain't gonna say nothing <laughs> calorie counting you never count no damn calories anyway i also realize i think i am always eating out when i vlog like every video <laughs> Eating out. No damn calories. Oh my gosh. Okay, for real, y'all, y'all gonna see me cooking. So I'm gonna cook in the next video because y'all know so that y'all can really see that I don't just eat out all the time. It just happens to be when I'm vlogging. Okay, so we are going to head home now. We should be home in about five hours. It's currently 12:30 right now. I'm oh, losing my light. Oh my hand. Oh, okay. So like I said, we'll be home in about five hours. We're just gonna um, sit in the parking lot right now and eat this food and then um, head home. I don't get to control the radio because I'm not driving and that's our rule. Whoever is driving, they control the radio. So, sucks to be me. But I have my earbuds. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, what do I mean? I don't play good music. You did on the way up here. I run here. through the 90s, oh. <laughs> the 80s and the 90s, and sometimes we hit the 2000s. Yeah, but you don't ever play Beyonce. You don't ever play the gospel. You don't even put on any good women empowerment uh, podcasts. I'm not going to listen to no women empowerment podcasts. I played Jade, Don't Walk Away. I played Salt and Pepper on the way down. What the hell are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Bruh. I mean, you'd have to have a variety. It's five hours. But I played a lot of women empowerment music. I played y'all all the good music from the women's in the nineties. I said women empowerment. I even played Lil Kim. See, this is why I like to travel via plane. But I'm gonna put my earbuds in. While <laughs>